How would I handle a game like Injustice or any fighting game in a free-to-play model? Well, here's how I would do it. Step one, multiplayer versus mode, online, totally free. That means ranked, lobbies, any online mode, totally free. Local versus totally free, training mode, totally free. You don't get the whole roster, you get a rotating selection of characters that rotates every month or so, a lot like League or Heroes of the Storm or something like that. And you could only train or fight with those characters for free. Each character only comes with two colors of their base costume. No more than two colors, just two. And that's what you get for free. You get a selection of characters and you can play online or local or train as much as you want. You can spend real world dollars to unlock more costumes, more colors, more stages, more music, and to unlock characters permanently. That way, no matter who rotates in the roster, you always get to play the character you like. I would also let you earn in-game currency from playing in ranked modes but I would limit what you could spend that on, probably only aesthetics and maybe on characters, but I would make characters pretty expensive. Everything else, campaign modes, story modes, extra modes like time attack, strategy modes, all of that has to be paid for. Doesn't have to be a lot, but it needs to be paid for. Whenever a new DLC character comes out, they immediately join the free rotating roster and then rotate out at the next instant, so everyone gets to try them. In fact, the same thing goes for new costumes. They're all free to try for like a week after they come out. Now, here's the rub. This is the only way that this works. You don't stop selling season passes. You give people the option to pay for the fighting game as they have been paying so far. Give them the option to pay $60, and then now all the single player modes are unlocked, all the colors are unlocked, all the characters are unlocked. Basically, you get the full package say that'll come with like the first few characters of DLC or something. And then you can sell season passes for the next DLC so that anything that comes out, character, costume, stage, whatever, from period X to period Y, you get. If you bought in for that season, you get all the content for that season. So that means that the people who don't want to be dropping $60 on a fighting game can drop three or five dollars here or there and still be playing. And they'll also fill out the ranked queue because they want to earn in-game currency to unlock more stuff. Meanwhile, people like us, people in the FGC, will just drop $60 on day one like we always do, and we get all the content. And the passes would always be cheaper than buying everything piecemeal, just like they are right now. And just like it works in MOBAs. There you have it. That's a free-to-play model that I think would work. Everybody who's already paying $60 for a fighting game can still choose to do so, and everyone else can dabble in free-to-play.